Hi everyone! A while ago, Dr. Otto Kano posted a video about how she prints waterproof stuff for her watercolor stuff. <laughs> anyway, some of you requested I show you my version to give you some more information on the topic. So here we are! Right off the bat, I'd like to apologize for the lighting because this isn't my printer, but I'm allowed to use it. I've been using this Epson L15150 printer to print off sheets to use in some of my videos. I'll link those videos below should you want to watch them later. For today's demonstration, I'll be using two types of watercolor paper. This 210 GSM Canson Fine Face Cellulose Paper in A5 size and this 300 GSM 100% Cotton Baohong Paper that is B5 size. Before we get to the printer, let's go find something to print. So here is a piece of line art I found online that I forgot to save the link unfortunately, but it's from freepick.com. In the printing menu, I always need to double check the paper size, so for this one, it's B5. After that, I move to this preview drop-down menu here to select media and quality. This Epson printer actually has three trays for paper. For this particular printer I'm using, the main tray is always filled with regular A4 recycled paper, and the alternative tray is filled with A3 size paper. The rear tray is the one where we use for everything else, so I'm choosing rear tray here. And then for media type, the most appropriate option available is heavyweight paper. Speaking of rear trays, this is what it looks like. Now we're going to put the bow home paper into, oops, got to move this little blue tab, slide the paper in. As you can see, the paper aligns with the B5 size marker. Alright, so whenever the printer detects new paper input, this is what shows up on the printer screen. I just need to change the paper size to B5. No, no, not B6. Let's try that again. Okay, B5. As for paper type, I chose thick paper because there's no heavyweight paper option. Alright, everything is set up. Print time! Ready, set, go! You'll see that I have a finger on top of the paper here because prior to this I had no problems printing anything but someone else got some paper jammed several times and now the mechanism doesn't really work as well anymore so sometimes I have to put my finger there like that to push the paper a bit to help feed it into the printer. I'm usually able to load about 10 to 15 sheets of paper at a time so bulk printing is doable as well. I did bulk printing from this printer when I made those Wichitrong dot cards a while ago. Now that we have both sheets printed, let's test it with some paint. I literally pulled this out of the printer about 5 minutes ago before I laid watercolor on, so there really isn't any drying wait time. This is the Baohong. The ink is completely waterproof. And here is the Canson Fine Face absolutely waterproof as well. I don't know if everywhere around the world is the same, but these are the inks that came with this printer. And that's basically all the information I have for you today. I don't particularly consider myself tech savvy in any way, but if anyone has questions that wasn't answered in this video already, please feel free to comment below and I'll try my best to answer as much as I can. Alright, that's all for today. As always, thank you so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated.